what prompted you uh, to to sort of raise that uh, as an issue and as a title is it because you feel that today those who are asking questions whether it is in the media whether it is activists whether it is civil society those who are asking difficult questions particularly of the establishment are often get it, getting shouted down or being labeled uh, as anti national is is that why no i no, didn't start from national or anti national i am basically as i have said it in in the preface there are two issues one is what are the core values of our society and secondly what institutional structure have we created to realize those values and what is the efficacy of that institutional structure now as far as the core values are concerned it is a plural society dedicating itself to secularism and realization of all those principles which are listed in the preamble of the constitution and do you believe those principles are under threat uh they are being questioned in one form or the other i mean there are two aspects to it one is the lack of sufficient performance you know when you talk of equality when you talk of justice when you talk of uh, um, uh, you know liberty there are questions they have there have been those questions all through our existence as an independent country again and again we've had to go back and seek correctives the courts have provided the corrective the political system has provided the corrective that's one side of it but if somebody is beginning to question the core values then you have to wake up and see what well, what does this mean what will be the end result of it if you question the basic principles of indian nationalism what is indian nationalism nationalism which is that is, what you think is happening today it is, yes, the, it is it, the basic principles of indian nationalism are being questioned question. in what way according to you well our nationalism is defined by the indian constitution it is inclusive it includes the entire citizen body now if an effort is being made for this reason or that reason to circumscribe that you know to say no an indian national is this but if you don't do this then you are less of a national that is where problem comes in you know when, the, when you try to define na a nationalist in, yes. in in a certain term the basic concept that i have used is what is a liberal liberal democracy and what is an illiberal or ethnic democracy now an illiberal democracy is one which prescribes the limits within which you can be a full national and you believe there is a danger that that is what we are well that's what i have read in the books which are uh, fundamental texts of uh, some people in the country so so you believe that there is a danger that india is becoming an illiberal majoritarian democracy yes yes yes, yes so very much so it's been talked about uh, written about a great deal being debated uh, not only within the country but anybody who cares to follow indian uh, uh, developments there's been a good deal of writing on this subject uh, 